Hi, so you can't create a weighted total, unfortunately. That will give the student a fail if they've scored less than 40 in one of the assessments. What you can do a create is create rules that state if they don't get 40, where you can put fail or pass or give them some of the sort of score behind that. So I've created a weighted total and I've created a rule that says if they get four, less than 40%, it displays as a fail. So what we could do is replicate that on the actual column for each of the assessments that you created. So for instance, in this one they've scored less than 40, so it's a, fa a fail on that column. So to do this on one of your columns, what you'll first need to do is to set up what's called a grading schema. So if you click on manage and then grading schemas, you then want to click on create grading schema and you'll need to give it a name so you could call it like a pass or fail um, you can give it a description if you wish and then at the bottom you'll need to then select what scores a pass and what a fail so this could be used to you know, inform your students that they're currently on a 2-2 or a 2-1 or a first sort of rate or you could use it as a A, B, C, D, E sort of thing. In this instance though, you can select 40, uh, enter 40 into the box to 100, and you can type pass into that box. It then says no and less than 40, because it automatically works that out, is a fail. So you can put fail into that following corresponding box. The grades manually entered section is if you wish you could put pass into a box or fail into one of the box and that would mean that it corresponds to 25% or 70% if you were going to, you're probably not going to use these but if you're going to you can change those figures also once you've done that click submit and you'll see that your new grading scheme has been created click OK in the bottom right or back to the, go back to the grade center now you'll need to just select a column that you'd like to put the pass or fail on. So for instance, if I select this one here, I can go to edit column information. And the way that we show this afterwards is by actually saying the secondary display and then selecting the pass or fail option for that. So the first of all, they'd get the score and then it'd say pass or fail after that. Once you've done that, scroll to the bottom and click Submit. You'll then see that each of the scores has passed behind them. If I entered a score that was lower than than uh, 40, you'll see that it corresponds as fail. If I enter 40, it would be pass.